Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As the propeller turns, uh, I couldn't wait to say it. I haven't made a video in a, in a while. Uh, I wasn't feeling so good, but now I feel better. And uh, well, I think so. Uh, anyway, I I was uh, meeting my friend Richard today for breakfast and and he says I haven't made one in a long time and he was right so today I I wanted to do uh, as the propeller turns and I started with a with a shot of me and then also in the background you know airplanes airplanes and airplanes I'm gonna switch uh, view on the on the camera and that's how it goes now I'm out of the picture but the airplanes are in the picture very much and and you know my my workshop by now and uh, what I did today different is I put the big boy out here today this is a ASH 31 from uh, Horizon it's a total composite glider let me put my hand in in so you can see it is uh, a six meter glider. It's it's really uh, big, and I do this in two sections. This video, uh, I want to start with the body. I put it on my special stand. I think the glider weighs about thirty pounds or thirty five pounds when it's assembled. Uh, it is a very very nice composite glider that was originally sold by Horizon Hobby or through them and uh, and I got one uh, that is in pristine condition I have flown it several times it's a fantastic a glider like this does not fly on on lofty in that sense it flies on aerodynamics that's what I'm trying to say it's it's not flying on on uh, on wind or by its light it's heavy it's uh it flies on aerodynamics and boy it flies uh very good because uh, composite gliders full full glass ship they don't flex the wings they don't deform the wings they they keep so true to to their aerodynamic dynamic design when i bought this glider it uh you you had to convert it uh, to a to a motor glider motorized otherwise it could also be a pure glider i motorized it so i i cut uh, usually the the nose make sure that it sits all good and it works very very good then it, it it has a retract gear and I customized it a little bit. Uh, one of the customization is how the, the functions in the wing plug-in. I mean, it has ailerons, speed brakes and flaps. And so you have three in two wings six servos to connect and and i do this over a, a plug here so i don't have to fiddle inside it it makes it really nice um, on this glider you can you can arrest the wings once they're on there with a screw you can also put a little bit of tape on it when they uh, manufactured the glider and tested it in the beginning they weren't even securing the wings at all with any screw type they stay on there pretty good unless you are an aerobatic guy and then they would be better screwed on or taped on or something. Um, uh, this glider after a while, uh, the, uh, the, the design part of the design team or the designer, he showed it when he aero aerobatically flow this and uh, since he is a former world champion he knows how to do that very good but then later 
uh, they found out uh, not to recommend that anymore, but just fly it as a regular glider. Otherwise, the wings could develop problems. Mine never have developed problems because I fly gliders anyway, like gliders, just, you know, when you see a glider in the sky, like that, I pull it up, I fly it um, in a thermals, uh, you, uh, thermals, and it thermals good, um, and, and that's how I have been flying it. Uh, I want to also tell you that I I think of, of selling it because my back and, and the weight of this pup does not seem to be a, a, a good marriage. Just because of my back and 30, 40 pounds, I, I just don't wanna, wanna do that typically. Otherwise, oh my God, it's, I love this glider. Like I love so many of my airplanes. But uh, this one really has a special place. I'm gonna show you the other components. Let me, I took the hood off, I put it here. It's, uh, it's beautifully uh, made and there's a cockpit thing in it. Um, there's like this this window on it. It's just an imitation to just look scale. Um, then here, this is really one. Uh, this has a a wings bar that is different. It's square. It's uh, made out of uh, carbon and it is strong. One of the manufacturing team stands on it and. Uh, to demonstrate how much it can take, but it, it it naturally it goes in here. And oh, it doesn't want to go in here. No. It, some things are not that easy to do with one hand when they're already not that easy to do with two. But uh, then you use one hand, it, you double the challenge. And so I'm sorry for bad picture for a moment, but here I got it through. Then of course the wing comes on and so forth. Um, here is the, is the interior. The battery six cell goes here. I'll show you that later. Uh, the retract is, is in there very solid. I had, uh, all, luckily I didn't have rough landings uh, was it, and I didn't really test it that bad, <laughs> but it's it's in there very good, you can tell, and, and, uh, and the radio is in here, there's the receiver. There's the speed controller and the servos are in the tail for the rudder and for the elevator so so they don't have uh, they're very precise and uh, very safe and good off there I forget if I put a satellite receivers in this doesn't look like it. Uh, I use a separate um, battery here for moving the, the servos and and then I have a separate flight battery, a six cell to for for the for the motor. I show you in a little bit more of that. For right now, this is section one of of it and i'm gonna put that up i'm gonna film section two where i put the wing and the battery on and so but for today i want to get something something going and so uh this is all composite uh here 
it it has a a, a a channel here for aerodynamic it's not just a, a skin hinge this is skin hinged it's very precise and and and, and this uh, the gliders love that if you have like a u channel so the so the wind flows nicely over it when when you fly it has a tail wheel that that spins uh, i land on a uh, and it is a ground takeoff glider that is uh, unbelievable i mean it takes almost no time this huge glider it you will see how huge it is uh, when i put the wings on maybe you get a taste already of the of the huge and the waist but and the weight of it but when i ground uh, take off mm, i don't know uh i would say maybe not 12 but let's just say 20 feet i mean it is so fast airborne you won't believe it and uh everything is very precise when when i put the hood on that is was all done by the factory so very very professional even the doors here the were factory hinged so they they're great uh, hinged and and the, the wheel was in factory installed so it's been it's uh you know it's installed like a factory does it very good uh, the the whole glider i i would i would rate it very high you see the orange maybe you don't see it but the orange uh, faded a little bit just like the on the original some people they took the spinner and made it orange so it's like but this or some people even painted these carbon blades orange so you don't see them but they're just too beautiful for me to paint and that doesn't bother me at least in the least uh, that there's a, a aluminum spinner but i i have somewhere even the, bought the correct paint to match but i never used it because it doesn't bother me at all it has a good sturdy wheel and uh, beside the weight it is actually easy to assemble i will show you so thank you let me thank you very much uh, for watching uh, the propeller turns as the propeller turns uh, that is uh, lovely that you do and i thank you very much for that please like and subscribe uh, it's a bit nippy today so i have two hats on uh so i'm not cold and you you'll see see it, it's a little bit raining but but not that bad you see where that's where we live uh you know i have a, and i can't show you right now because it's not here but i have something very odd and unique uh i have a eagle that visits on a regular basis no i just saw he was flying but it wasn't uh, on a regular basis uh, at my neighbor's a tree and um, maybe i can manage a picture i took a picture with my fo photo camera uh, it was a 400 millimeter lens so he's very big and clear but alone the fact that there's an eagle coming uh, a bald-headed eagle and and sits here for hours and hours all day uh, i'm afraid that it's gonna eat my cat but but he hasn't and uh, in today is raining it doesn't come when it's raining but um i'm sure i managed something somehow well anyway thank you gentlemen let's uh, get a little bit of airplanes back in the background uh, not just me talking about eagles visiting which is out of this world uh, thank you very much as the propeller turns and i see you in the section two of this video where we're going to put on the the wings and show the the hugeness 
of this glider. Bye bye and see you in section number two in a little bit. Like and subscribe as the propeller turns. Bye bye.